So in the last video, we talked about self-image and the importance of recognizing how you view yourself and whether or not that empowers you or disempowers you. So I hope you've had some chance and, a, and an opportunity just to check in and think about how you view yourself and, and start to think about what you want from yourself, your career, your life, and whether or not your current self-image will enable you to get there, or whether or not you might need to make some adjustments and refinements along the way that would enable you to feel more worthy and therefore go after what you really want. So here's the step-by-step -step process. This is really simple. Uh, this is my interpretation. There are lots of different resources around self-image and how you can improve your self-image, but here's, here's what I've done in the past. So in, I've had um, many different roles in my career, and every time I transitioned between roles, I noticed that I would get highly anxious. And that anxiety came from my uncertainty about my ability to do the new to, to work in the new position, but also my uncertainty around whether or not I was good enough to be in that position, especially when I was comparing myself to peers and peers that had been in those positions for longer, were more accomplished and more adept. And it just made me feel inferior. But interestingly, I recognized at one point only I could make me feel inferior. Now, part of that is healthy because it's, it, it encourages you to do more, think about yourself and start to look at how you might improve. But it's unhealthy when it stops you from, from taking the right action, when it stops you from progressing and it stops you from learning and growing because that becomes constraining. So how do you change your self-image? Here we are, so, so it's a three-step process. The first step is the most critical. You have to create the ideal image of the person you want to be in your mind. And once you've created that person, spend a bit of time on this. What, to, what do they look like? I know that sounds a bit odd, but how do they stand? How do they hold themselves? How do they look in certain situations? They will look more comfortable than you feel in certain situations. And you need to create this image of you at a distance uh, and think about every part of that person's characteristic and put them in situations where you know it would be difficult for you based on your, the limitations that you've set yourself. So you create this image, you think about everything that that person should be, could be, and then once you've got them and, you, and you're comfortable, actually they, that's ideally who I want to be. Take some time on this, but that's the ideal person I would like to be. Then what you do is, in your mind, so take some time, space, close your eyes, you've created that person. Now what you do is you walk over and you step into that person. So you're visualizing the ideal you and you step in. And once you've stepped in, and this takes a bit of practice, so if you don't get it right first time, don't worry about that, keep practicing. But you step into the ideal you and then you, you observe and notice everything about them. So notice how they stand, notice the posture, notice how much more relaxed they are. Notice how, they, notice how they breathe slightly differently from you. Notice the words they say to themselves, the way that they talk to themselves, they encourage themselves. They believe in themselves. They, they know that they will be all right and they trust themselves to be the person they need to be in any given situation because they're flexible, they can learn, they can grow, they can adapt. And once you've completed that exercise, once you've fully absorbed the experience, you now need to step back and out. And that is the exercise. Then come back into the room, open your eyes and you're away. It can take five minutes once you get it, um, once you get it right. And you do that continuously. And you create this image of this person in your mind that you want to be in the future, absolutely ideal in any given situation, the way they respond, the humor they have, everything about them. And you keep refining that person and you keep stepping in, experiencing what it's like to be that person, enjoying that experience, and then stepping out. And what you're doing is creating a target for your unconscious mind 
about the person you want to become. And it's no good sitting there saying, oh, I want to feel more confident, I want to be this, I want to be that. You've got to create the representation of it, this visualization exercise, create the person, put them in the future, step in and experience it and step out. And your mind will be going, hold on a minute, I don't want to step out, I don't want to step out, that's the person I want to be. And over time, you will find yourself adopting the habits, the behaviors, the mindset, the posture, the confidence, everything about that person will start to create a target for the things you want for yourself. And if you repeat that exercise over time, you will start to improve and you'll start to feel better about lots of situations. You can then start to think about specific areas of your life where you want to feel more confident, you want to feel less discomfort, and you can put that person in those situations, understand how he or she responds and reacts, understand how they think, how they feel, and step in, experience it, step out. And you will get a level of confidence that you just cannot achieve in any other way. And trust me, <laughs> I know I've done it. I've done this over, over years, time and time again. When I've transitioned into new positions, new careers, the anxiety kicks in. I know that this process works and it works 100% of the time if you just follow those three simple steps and you do it frequently. And when I say frequently, at least once a day, and within a couple of weeks, you will notice a huge transition, a huge transition in how you feel and how you act. So that's the video for today. If there's anybody in your life, whether it's a member of your team, someone in your organization, someone in your personal life, your partner, uh, friends, children, if there's anyone in your life that you think they need to see this video, please, please share it with them. And I'd be delighted if it helps. And, and I know it works because I've been through it myself. So I hope that's useful for you. And if you're ever feeling as if you just want to make a new step, feel more confident, do something that breaks through barriers, this is a technique and a principle that will really, really help. So I look forward to hearing your feedback on this video. Please feel free to get in touch with me either through the Focus for Growth website or through my LinkedIn profile. I've got a Facebook community. You're very welcome to join us there. And it's all about leadership and high performance and how I can help you to achieve the greatest success possible for yourself and for your organizations. So I hope you have a fantastic week and I look forward to seeing you on the next video in the Leadership Success Series from Focus for Growth.